genuinely. I don't think I've ever been more excited in my entire life, and this might be my favorite video I've ever made so far. <laughs> Homeboy got money. Money, money. I've never been this confused. Patrick would be my soulmate. She's just fucking cool. <laughs> he could get it for free. My therapist is gonna hear about Sabrina. If my man doesn't give me a stripper name, does he actually love me? <laughs> it was so good. So good. So yesterday I opened up my email and this was waiting for me. The Savage by Sophie Lark. I got an arc. <laughs> I absolutely loved the Kingsmaker series. It's good. It's so good. The Kingsmaker series is literally gives me so much life. And so far, the bully Dean is my favorite. However, I feel like that is about to change. <laughs> but before I start, I would like to thank Sophie so much for sending me this art because I love her to bunches. And to make sure that I am comfy, I got my sweater blanket. I don't know, what do you call it? Like a Snuggie? <laughs> and then my charger, Kindle charger. Um, and then since the cover is blue, right? You see it, it's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. The cover is blue. So I have a blue kind bar and some blueberries as a snack and water. I have come prepared. I have come prepared and I'm going to sit here until I'm finished with this book and I'm not getting up. Eat, breathe, leave. Eat, breathe, live. Eat, breathe. Fuck. Eat, breathe, live. Live, laugh, love, eat, breathe, live, all the same thing. Anyways, it's all the savage. Also, I have my computer here. Ooh, girl, you're a little bright. Because one of my favorite things that Sophie has ever done, and it's on, it's literally the coolest thing ever, is in her books, she has like book playlists, like a lot of books do. However, her playlists are featured in her books, so then you know exactly when to listen to what song while you're reading. I read it like that in the Sinners duet and honestly, it like just made it an entire experience. I'm starting kind of late. Um, I meant to start earlier. <laughs> I was gonna start literally when I woke up. However, you know the day just gets away from you and it's currently 6 p.m. We better get to reading um, and that's what we're gonna do. But also, I'm a little bit hungry so I'm gonna eat some of these blueberries but Blueberries are my favorite fruit at the moment. I used to think I hated them. But then I tried them again. And you know, as an adult, I like blueberries. Oh, I feel like you might know if you follow me. Honestly, anywhere. <laughs> but I cut my hair. It's shorter. I'm trying to practice being a not as impulsive person. Because I'm extremely impulsive. Like, as soon as I... Think of something, I have to do it and I have to have it now. I'm trying to practice patience and thinking before you do, but it's not really my style. <laughs> Just a few more. One more bunch. Closing the blueberries. We're going to start reading. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're going to start. Literally dying inside. <laughs> yes, I literally love him so much. You can't tell me this man is not gorgeous. My new boyfriend. The dedication is Sabrina is for my bad girls, which is all of us. I love you, Sophie. Thank you for dedicating this book to me. <laughs> for those who have not read the Kingsmaker series and want to, you need or should read the Brutal Birth se Right series first because that is all about the parents of the Kingsmaker series. Because the Kingsmaker series is like mafia college, you know what I'm saying? So it's all the children from those books. And The Savage follows um, Sabrina, who is Nero's daughter, um, and they're the gallows. So I hope that explains kind of, I'll put the reading orders here. I hope that helps. Okay. We are on the first page. Let's get into this. <laughs> I'm literally laughing already. <laughs> so Sabrina says he's pretty hot for an old man. And then Kara says, Sabrina, that's Hay Hayden's father. He goes, so he's not my father. <laughs> 
same girl, real same. <laughs> so I changed <laughs> into my pajamas. So I just read the scene where um, Sabrina and Adric are like reunited slash like meet again in the book and it did not live it down. Oh my god, it was so good. Sabrina is literally such a badass. I wish I was that cool. <laughs> she's so fucking cool. <laughs> like, oh my god, she's literally the coolest. Honestly, maybe the coolest character I've ever read. She's just fucking cool. <laughs> Adric is not only hot, but he is a hot mafia man. At that, he is a hot mafia man with money. <laughs> my god. Rich as hell. Like, homeboy got money. Money, money. He could get it for free. <laughs> I love that they're just like unapologetically like flirting with one another. Like they're not trying to hide their attraction, but it's also doesn't feel like insta love. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like there's still like tension, but it's not, it's, it's good. <laughs> Sabrina is so hot. <laughs> I've never been this confused in my life. <laughs> like, usually... I like both of the characters. <laughs> okay, listen, Adric is hot, but Sabrina is so hot that it only makes Adric hotter. <laughs> like, sh he's hot, she's hot, but like, him liking that she's so hot makes him hotter. <laughs> Sabrina has me questioning my entire life. <laughs> Sabrina, my therapist is gonna hear about Sabrina. <laughs> Which table? I have never loved a man more in my life. <laughs> Edric is, he's about it. He is about it. He's the real MVP. He is the real MVP. I've never had a book boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> so I took a breather. Um, <laughs> I, I needed a breath of air. <laughs> it didn't even have to be fresh air. I just needed air. <laughs> Out of all the things I've ever read, I feel like that might have been my favorite. <laughs> I don't even know how to function like I'm just in awe. <laughs> Sophie, this is your best work. <laughs> this is... I... Speechless. <laughs> like, Sabrina only validates a lot. <laughs> Sabrina and Adric make Adric hotter. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I love him. Pick me, choose me, love me. <laughs> Okay, but also, tell me why Adric is like low-key, one, he's a simp, but two, like, he's sweet. <laughs> like, they're perfect for each other. <laughs> the way that they are so, like, enamored by one another is like, I didn't expect this book to be like so, like, I don't even want to say wholesome, but I... I feel like I didn't expect them to be like so drawn to each other and like in love. <laughs> I thought maybe it would be like a darker connection because of like the premise of the book, but like they're soulmates. Like it wasn't at all what I was expecting, but I love it and it's warming my heart. It's more intimate, I guess, than I thought it would be. He sees her for like what she is rather than an ob like a a chess piece you know what I'm saying like obviously he wants her to be like a part of his like team he said it multiple times that he wants her to be his partner he doesn't want to be her boss or control her he just wants her to be her and he sees her potential my heart I love Adric I love both characters that's the thing like I love both of them and like her conflict is valid. His want for her is so dimensional. It's so deep and they are so neat. I am like so intrigued to see where this book is going. I'm only 30% into the book and I don't feel 
like it's moving too fast i've been like captivated by their connection for a while i've fallen in love with them fast and I don't feel like it's been rushed and it makes so much sense for who they are. They have so much perspective and oh my god and Atric is like so sure of himself. Sabrina is as well like she's unapologetic but obviously she has her worries because of her family and she has like her own conflicts but like I said they're very valid. They're both valid. Like nobody's overreacting, like everything's justifiable. It's very character driven, but it's also plot driven. This book is perfect. I feel like it's gonna be one of my new favorites. And it's so early on. Another thing that just validates that they are soulmates. They don't even have to speak their feelings. They talk through actions and like expression. You can see that they connect like on a mental level. That's all I want in life is somebody to connect mentally with. <laughs> There is nothing more attractive than good conversationalists. Honestly, the way to my heart is through mental stimulation. <laughs> Patrick says, I told you, Sabrina, I don't plan on being your boss. I want you to run free. I have a lot of book boyfriends. But if I had to choose one that I could, could actually be somebody who I would want to be my boyfriend, it would be this man. <laughs> He's absolutely perfect. Patrick would be my soulmate. I am somebody who hates structure, like absolutely hates it. And I get so bored so easily. As soon as somebody tries to like put me in a box, I feel like I'm gonna explode and I wanna do the ax like the total opposite. I, as soon as somebody says I have to do something, I automatically don't wanna do it. <laughs> I just get so bored so easily. I mean, obviously I have ADHD, but like, <laughs> that's literally my personality. Like, I genuinely get bored so easy and like, I just want to be free. <laughs> I just want to be free. I'm not as cool as Sabrina, but like, I definitely see components of her in myself. <laughs> I genuinely relate so hard. <laughs> so I might have fallen asleep, but now I'm awake and it's the next day. <laughs> so we're going to keep reading. Um... I'm going to finish this book. I want to say, honestly, realistically, I started reading around like almost 12 and I went to bed around 3 and I'm halfway through. So, <laughs> back to reading we go. We are diving back in. <laughs> Sabrina is that bitch. <laughs> Sabrina is that bitch. She really is. <laughs> that was a show. If I haven't seen one before. <laughs> If my man doesn't give me a stripper name, does he actually love me? <laughs> like, holy fuck. Oh, kudos to you, girl. Damn. <laughs> Adric is one lucky guy. He truly is. I mean, she's lucky as well, but he, he is lucky. <laughs> I just love that I'm so, like, equally, like, interested in the characters and the plot. Like, they're both so good. <laughs> The way Sabrina is trying to like bond with the others, it's kind of, it's heartwarming in a sense. I think it's because my perception of her was like this, like a totally different person when I read the other Kingmaker books. But like in this book, like she's crazy, but like these are her people. Everybody she's ever met, she's kind of been like this chaotic mess that like nobody can handle but like these are her people so she feels more like a breath of fresh air <laughs> everything is better with sabrina by my side she charges every moment she bursts me open like a firework i'm flaming with light and color and pure electric bliss <laughs> i love this man <laughs> what if i want to give you a better gift you are the gift sabrina you're what i want <laughs> yikes i'm dying and because of joy <laughs> for the first time I'm angry at Adric. <laughs> I'm mad not mad but like hurt <laughs> I feel betrayed <laughs> obviously like Sabrina and Adric have like this dynamic that like obviously regular people don't have that was a little bit cruel <laughs> I'm heated <laughs> I'm angry <laughs> I feel her anger I am infuriated I'm angry <laughs> this book might have the best spies i've ever read in my entire life it's perfect like the time everything's perfect <laughs> sabrina is that bitch 
She's giving back what's thrown at her. <laughs> if there's one thing I know for sure, one, don't us underestimate this girl, and two, she never bluffs. She means what she says when she says it. <laughs> yeah, you better regret. You better regret what you did. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> to make up and be happy again <laughs> like, this is like really hurting me <laughs> all is right in the world <laughs> my heart my heart was beating like this i was like oh my god <laughs> the found family is just my heart <laughs> i love found family <laughs> i finished and the epilogue was perfect it was so perfect this was so good it was so good Okay, Sabrina, I love her. I love her. Adric, I love him. Together, I love them. <laughs> I know I kept saying this throughout the whole video, but the plot and the characters were equally as good. And the freaking playlist, it was, it was so good. The experience, oh my God. I don't even know what to do with myself. It was good. So good, so good. If it's not obvious, I give it five stars. <laughs> I have the biggest hangover ever. I am so sad it's done. I am literally so sad. I'm gonna have to read it again. <laughs> I'm gonna lay here for a little while and just sulk because it's over. So far, it was one of my favorite books of this year because it, it was. Oh my god, it was just so good. That's all I can manage to say is that it was so good. I loved it. Every aspect of it I liked. Everything, I loved all of it. Thank you for being on this journey with me. It was a ride. It was a good ride. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. Um, but just know I, I love this book. I had the best time ever reading it. It was five stars and my heart is broken knowing that it's over. <laughs> Okay, I love you. Um, I'll see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>